Hello students. Today we are going to discuss about Paxinia life cycle. Paxinia is a very important topic in B.Sc level botany, and also so many competitive exams asking some objective type questions from this topic also. So Paxinia we call it as a it belongs to Basidium mycotina. And uh, the Faxinia we called as a microcyclic fungi. In its life cycle, it shows more than two types of the spores. There are total five types of the spores produced in its life cycle. So, Faxinia we called as a very important and microcyclic fungi. More than 1800 species are recorded, in which uh, three types of the Paxinia species causing lot of damage to the Indian crops in which uh, Paxinia graminis it causing the block rust and uh, Paxinia striiformis causing the yellow rust and Paxinia recondita which causing the brown rust so this type of the fungi causing the disease on wheat plants barley oats type of the plants Every year in India, nearly 10% of the crop affecting by this fungi. So, this one having a lot of importance. So, we need to study the, in detail about the Paxinia life cycle. So, Paxinia life cycle, in this Paxinia life cycle, there are 5 stages. The, so, the total the 5 stages, here the first stage we call as the uridineal stage, second stage tilia stage and uh, third stage we call as the basidial stage, fourth one spermogonial stage and fifth one we call as the acidial stage. So these are the five stages. The Paxinia required for its uh, life cycle completion, Paxinia required two types of the hosts. That is one we call as the the primary host is a wheat plant. In wheat plant, the two stages are two stages are completed, and again it required one alternate host also that is we call it a secondary host. And uh, in barberry plant, that is the barberry plant, the alternate host or secondary host we call as a barberry plant. So Paxinia completed its life cycle. Half of the portion are somewhat it completed in wheat plant and remaining somewhat life cycle completed in barberry plant. So barberry we call as the alternate host. Wheat we it is a primary host. On the wheat it completed first and second stages. In its life cycle, it completed first stage, second stage, and the wheat plant. And re remaining the three stages, one of the stage it is present in the soil, that is the basidial stage. From this soil, it is attacking on barberry plant, and uh, it shows the remaining two stages. So, in the wheat we call as a this is a very major crop in India. So, <clears throat> it causing diseases wheat plant by using the barberry as an alternate host. So, <clears throat> this is a, a Faxinia life cycle and there are five stages. In this five stages, now we come into the first one we call as a uridineal stage. In uridineal stage, the first stage is a uridineal stage it produces uridospores on the wheat, plant, leaf, stem like the parts. <coughs> These uh, fungi show the development and it pro producing that uh, uridospores. Each and every uridospore the appear like this, uh, uh, what we call it as it is oval in shape and binucleate and uh, thick walled uridospores are produced uh, in its uh, life cycle. Uh, this one we call as a, if you take that the uridineal stage is a first stage. <coughs> so here the uridospores producing on the 
wheat plant and uh, these urodospores having the capability to again reinfect to the plant so <coughs> this is nothing but called as a like a asexual type of the reproduction so urodospores are formation on the wheat and that uh, urodospores again reinfect to that wheat plant so uh, this is uh, one type of uh, uh, cyclic process here and uh, sometimes what will happen this urodospores it uh, convert as a teletospores these are the urido red uh, it appear like a uh, red type of the structures urodospores and the urodospores are converted as a teletospores so urodospores when converting the teletospores here the urodospores are oval in shape, binucleate, unilacular, there is no septa in the spores. If you observe here, there is no septa, unilacular. And uh, the teletospores, this uh, teletospores having a bilacular and binucleate and it is uh, we call as a spindle in shape, spindle shaped. Spindle shaped teletospores are formed from this urodospores. The second stage we call as a, this is a telia stage. So <coughs> these two stages are completed on wheat plant. So this Paxinia fungi after that means urodospore to form the teletospores and uh, teletospores having a thick cell wall, bilacular, binucleate type spindle shape type of the structures they are appearing like a black in color so in teletospore stage these type of the marks or we postulates we called as a that means so, here proxenia is a black rust so the due to the presence of this teletospores the postulates appear like a black in color so the black rust we call it the paxinia causing that black rust also so and uh, this teletospores these binucleates binucleate that means that the two nucleus applied nucleus are present in this these two nucleus are fused with each other the plus and minus type of the nucleus belongs to plus and minus type of the strains of the nucleus these two nucleus in the cell, the, the nucleus are fused with each other, then uh, deployed to a deployed nucleus formation take place. Here, the deployed nucleus, it undergoes the meiosis cell division. It undergoes the meiosis cell division, each and every cell. We know that the meiosis cell division, the result of the meiosis cell division, four applied nucleus are formation take place. And uh, here in the Teletospore, there is a germination tube also present. From this germination tube, there are tubes like structures are formed. And uh, this uh, meiosis, due to this meiosis cell division, four nucleus are moving into this. This four nucleus moving into this uh, tube, germination tube, and septa formation take place. So after this septa formation, here, when septa is formed, in this uh, teletospore, it is uh, again the cells are become as a basidiospores. That means the applied spores it become as a basidiospores. Here, this initially there are plus and minus type of the strains. This plus and minus type of the strains fused with each other to form binucleus. That means. Uh, deployed nucleus and meiosis cell division take place again no plus and minus type of the nucleus or formation take place the result of this uh, uh, the germination tube and uh, this type of the spores basidiospores formation take place on this teletospores on this teletospores here on this teletospores we call as a basidio Spores formation take place. 
these are the plus this force belongs to plus and minus type of the force they are not have to ability to infect directly to the wheat plant or uh, what we call as a in the barberry plant they may be deciduous spores are under the soil they are present so after some time in the soil deciduous stage the spores are the when the favorable conditions are comes again these spores are attacking on barberry plant that means this uh, fungi mechanism depend upon seasonally the winter season and uh, what we called as uh, a uh, uh, that uh, depend upon the temperature so the conditions when favorable this basidial stage this basidial spores from the side the basidial spores comes from the pelto spores these spores are present in the soil and uh, these spores uh, infect to the leaf of the barberry so barberry leaf is infected when barberry leaf infected on the upper surface and lower surface the basidial stage we call as a third stage so first stage is a uridi uridinial stage and uh, second stage we call as a telia stage and third stage we call as a basidial stage and next coming to the here fourth stage and fifth stage this fourth and fifth stage completed on the barberry leaf so <clears throat> in the barberry leaf these basidial spores are germinate on the upper leaf upper leaf of the barberry so on the upper leaf the spore formation and uh, there are special type of the uh, what we call as a sorai development that is uh, we call as a spermagonia spermagonia or pycnidia pycnidia so on the above upper surface upper surface pycnidium formation take place this one we call as also spermagonia spermagonia or pycnidia the names are we are using alternate names here pycnidia or spermagonia so these basidial spores are infect and takes germination on barberry plant only not wheat plant so when these plus minus spores are attacking on that means infect to the barberry leaf first of all they take generation uh, germination that the spores are takes germination on the upper leaf so here the uh, uh, complex structures are formation take place pycnidia or pycnidium we call as a or spermagonium spermagonium type of the structures the spermagonium like having this type of the structures and uh, this one having the receptive hyphae paraphysis also present so the plus and minus type of the spermagonium formation take place that means the upper leaf of the barberry one of the spermagonia belongs to positive strain and one of the spermagonia belongs to negative strain so <clears throat> this spermagonia producing that uh, the spores we call as a spermatia the spores are we call as a spermatia or spermagonial spores these spermagonial spores come to contact with each other by insects insects are visiting on the barberry leaf and uh, the spores are attached with the insects legs wings and these spores are transfer one spermagonium to another spermagonium one pycnidium to another pycnidium that uh, plus to minus so here the plus type of the nucleus here the minus type of the nucleus or uh, spores are present when the by this insect uh, that uh, the contact of these uh, positive and negative type of the spores we call as a that uh, spermatization take place spermatization the name we, we, we call as a spermatization spermatization take place in the spermagonium or pycnidium so this is the arrangement on the upper surface of barberry leaf and when spermatization take place in the spermatization that receiving hyphae we call as a receptive hypha 
receptive hypha or flexuous hypha or receptive hypha and uh, here when this type of the uh, spermatization take place the in the below that means so uh, lower epidermis in the lower epidermis dicaryotic hyphae dicaryotic cells are takes germinate and uh, there is a specialized structure formed uh, un under the lower epidermis in the upper epidermis the spermogonium and pycnidial formation the spermogonium and pycnidial formation upper epidermis in the lower epidermis when after the spermatization in the lower epidermis dicaryotic each and every four cell having the dicaryotic in condition two cells two nucleus one cell with the two nucleus condition so a specialized structure uh, developed that the fifth we call as a acl stage acl stage that means so this acl stage in the aco stage this acdm acl stage is acdm the structure it uh, producing aco spores here this one is a pycnidium this is a acdm uh, this one we also call as a spermogonium this uh, in the acdm the aco spores formation take place these aco spores are like a binucleate type that means uh, the two nucleus are present so again this aco spores are reinfect to the wheat plant having the ability to infect to the wheat plant so this is very important topic that means uh, asio spores again reinfect to the wheat plant and the cycle is repeated so there are five stages once again i repeat you there are five stages in parsinia life cycle that is the <coughs> iridospore formation iridinial stage and second one the teria stage third one basidial stage and fourth one is the pycnidial stage fifth one is the acl stage the five stages five spores five types of the spores formation take place in which so, so diploid condition that means so uh, present in that uh, here the uh, teletospores these teletospores are diploid in condition here the asiospores are diploid in condition iridospores also one nucleus with uh, two uh, one cell one type of the cell one unilacular spore with uh, two nucleus in condition only the basidiospores having the unilucular haploid in condition basidiospores having the haploid in condition remaining the binucleate in condition binucleate in condition where the meiosis take place means in the teletospore meiosis is take place where the 2n uh, type of the nucleus formation take place means in the teletospore so this is the uh, about a vaccine life cycle thank you